No-fault divorce was introduced on the 6th of April 2022. It was the biggest reform to divorce law for 50 years. Instead of having to rely on one of five facts to get divorced, which included fault-based facts, no-fault divorce is a move away from that. And instead, a statement that the marriage is irretrievably broken down is asserted within a divorce application, which is largely undertaken by way of an online divorce procedure. The aim of no-fault divorce is to reduce conflict at the start of the divorce process so that couples can concentrate on the more important factors such as child arrangements, property, resolving the matrimonial finances. The legal process of divorce largely remains the same, but the key is that it removes the element of having to assign blame in order to start the divorce process. The possibility of contesting a divorce has been removed and for the very first time a joint application can be made for divorce via the online divorce portal. An applicant has to wait 20 weeks from the date the divorce petition has been issued before the applicant can apply for the first stage of the divorce called the conditional order. Thereafter, an applicant has to wait a further six weeks following the pronouncement of the conditional order before the final order of divorce, which legally ends the marriage, can be applied for. There is now an introduction of a minimum period to get divorced, which is a period of six months. Divorce only legally ends the marriage. It is imperative that you also enter into a financial consent order to incorporate any financial settlement reached upon divorce. This will need to be approved by the court to be made legally binding and to formally dismiss financial claims upon divorce. Court should always be seen as a last resort and spouses should attempt to reach a financial settlement either by mediation with the help of a neutral third party mediator or alternatively via their own solicitors to attempt negotiations following the exchange of full and frank financial disclosure. However, a financial settlement has been reached upon divorce, even if it's direct between the parties, it is vital that that is drafted by the family law solicitors into a financial consent order and approved by the court. The court will only approve a financial consent order if it appears fair. Does it meet the party's needs? And the first consideration of the court will be those needs of any dependent children. Ensure that you have a good support network around you during such a difficult time. A second pair of ears can really help alongside getting advice from a specialist family lawyer. Perhaps a trusted friend can accompany you to an initial meeting with your divorce solicitor. Try not to compare your divorce with those of other people's experiences that you've heard about. No case is the same and it's absolutely crucial that you get the advice you need which is tailored to your own circumstances. However difficult, try to separate emotion. See a divorce, if you can, as a business transaction. Don't let your heart rule your head. There really is no substitute for obtaining independent legal advice from a specialist family lawyer. Having an initial consultation with a family solicitor will enable you to learn about the process for going through a divorce sorting out the matrimonial finances and resolving arrangements for children. These can be complex and it's really important that you have a set path and plan for your family and what's best for them going through such a difficult time. Every case is unique and it is important that you get the advice tailored to your individual circumstances and the circumstances of your family. At Slater & Gordon, we offer a fixed fee initial consultation and we have a team of dedicated family law solicitors to provide you with the best advice and legal representation.